All right, I'm Man Cave Tools. Today, we are gonna test out the power of Flex. When it comes to this kit, we are gonna unbox and test this out in a future video, so please subscribe to the channel for that. Today's video is gonna be about the brand new single-handed reciprocating saw. Now, when I saw Flex's promo video, I wanted to test this out. Did not buy these tools. All these were sent to me. No contract, no money payment whatsoever, just good old-fashioned tool testing. All right, but first, we are gonna test the tool out, then we'll do the unboxing afterwards. So the single-handed reciprocating saw with a 2.5 amp hour battery weighs five pounds and 9.0 ounces. Tool and five amp hour battery weigh six pounds and 5.7 ounces. All right, so it does have a very easy installation of the blade, done. It does have a pivoting shoe. Dual LEDs on the front. I'm so excited to test this out. We are using the, the 2.5 amp hour battery that it came with. I do love the Flex's display of the battery life. Flex also did send me the 12 amp hour battery, but that is charging right now. But we are gonna test out the 2.5, 5, and 8, and let's see what the difference is. Let's do one more. Time. All right, now let's do two with the five amp hour. Five amp hour, it has full bars. One more. Time, we got caught on a knot right there. Let's do one more because of that knot. Do one more. I'm trying to get rid of that knot. That should be it. All right, we're gonna time this one. Perfect. And remember, this is the first video of this uh, single-handed reciprocating saw. Uh, this tool needs to be broken in, just like most tools do. Versus videos are coming of the other single-handed reciprocating saws that I got. Eight amp hour battery. You can hear that motor just ramp up. One more, then we'll switch over to a 4x4. But guys, that's actually not too shabby. It's not too shabby at all. We have a 4x4, battery is still full on the, on the 2.5. We're going to do one cut each, then I want to switch over to the flex blade. Uh, the 2.5 amp hour battery is a bit, it's not strong enough for this, but I'm pretty sure we can continue. Time. All right, let's switch over to the 5 amp hour. and the eight amp hour. All right, just so you guys know really quick, when it comes to, you know, doing these reciprocating saw tests, I'm not a fan of putting strings on a, uh, with a weight on it, because for those of you who actually use these every day, you can feel through the tool if the tool needs a little bit more bite, and every single reciprocating saw goes through this. So I feel through the tool if I need to make a little adjustment, if I need to go that way or that way for it to continue to bite. And if you have a string with a weight on it, you don't feel that. And then the tool just ends up idling while it's just uh, stroking back and forth. Time. All right, we're gonna do one more. That is a tough knot right there. You guys see that? I'm gonna go a little bit, cause I can see the knot right here. I'm gonna go right here. We are gonna time this one. So I'm gonna avoid that knot because it's it's right here. I'll show you guys. Got a big old knot right there. So yeah, let's cut beyond that. Time. 
That's better. Let's actually try the nine inch blade, uh, six teeth per inch. This is bi-metal. So let's do one cut on here, then I got a special piece of wood I want to test this on. Time. Not bad for a single-handed reciprocating saw. That's not bad at all. Right here we have a nice thick piece of solid walnut. We are going to cut this and see how this goes. You know what? Let's do something different this time. All right, this time I want to cut. I want to cut a piece of wood like this. I want this because I, I, I did a 45 degree angle right here that I want gone. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And we used an 8 amp hour battery for that. And yeah, it did not cut straight because I'm fighting this. Like I had to like hold, hold the jaw horse from put, being pulled my way. Right, let's go down with this now. Uno más. Time. That, that is a beautiful piece of wood right there. Look at that. It's actually a clean cut too. Beautiful piece of wood. Sorry, Matt. I know that's killing you because you, want you wanted to build something with this, but... I want it for tests, and I thank you for your sacrifice, Matt. All right, so we have a nice, good piece of metal right here. We have a brand new metal blade. We'll do a cut with a 2.5. The battery is still full. Then we'll go do a cut for the 5 amp hour, then 8 amp hour. This is not the only video of this, you guys. More videos are coming. Versus videos are coming. So, but let's test this out and sort of break it in. So with that is a good test right there. That is because of the battery. For this task, it requires a higher amp hour battery because the 2.5 is struggling. So let's continue this with the five amp hour. We're not gonna time this. We'll time it in the future with the uh, versus videos. Yeah, this is going to destroy blades left and right. All right, but since we tested that out, let's do one more cut with a uh, 8 amp hour battery. And that is absolutely my fault. I should have been wearing safety glasses. That, uh, I had a piece just hit my eye. That's my bad. I forgot. That hurt. Yep, make sure you wear safety glasses, you guys. I'm, a, I'm dumb for not wearing one. Let's finish it up.
time. Everything looks good. That that is a tough task, you guys. This, that's why I'm glad I have this. I do have a metal sh maker shop uh, down the street from me, so th that's where I get my metal from. That, that is a tough task right there. When it comes to this kit, it's five-year warranty, tool batteries, chargers, 24-volt system. All right, so first you do get a bag. It does come with instructions and stickers, and there is actually a blade in there. So then here is the single-handed reciprocating saw. I'm a fan of single-handed reciprocating saws because how compact they are and the power that they usually have and the convenience of needing to use this tool. So I'm excited to get this. I thank you Flex so much for sending me this. And it does come with a 2.5 amp hour battery. Fortunately, I already have one. This is not the, lithium, this is not the uh, stack lithium battery. So I already have a battery. A battery is full. As you can see, this is the older one, this is the newer one, but it is still not the lithium stack battery. You are able to hang it on the wall. This is the charger. The charger, uh, you are able to hang it on the wall. The model number for this is FX0411. It is a fast charger. It really is 120 volts, 60 hertz at 160 watts with a cooling system. But yeah, when it comes to this tool, it really isn't bad. Not bad for its first video. Now, we'll, we will see in the future and how well this uh, does against the other brands. But yeah, it's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And once again, I thank you, Flex, for sending me this. I think this metal will destroy. These are Milwaukee blades. Uh, I gotta, I gotta test out blades on this to see which one's the most powerful. Because I can tell you, if I do one more cut with this blade on this metal, yeah, this blade is not gonna survive it. So, well, we'll see in the future. I, I, I gotta test out metal blades. And like I said, I do have one more kit right here that it, it has the the low range. Impact driver, drill driver, uh, high range reciprocating saw, and a light. Well, I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of lights, but it's in the kit in case you need it. But unboxing video of that coming soon. I do want to get the new tool storage units by Flex. I thought those were cool, and so yeah, video of those in the future coming soon, along with the new batteries. But so more videos of this will be coming against the other brands. And so yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.